Time is certainly a factor in your trading success, but it's not the most important factor because you can spend a lot of time doing the wrong things as traders and never achieve consistent profitability and never achieve your funding goals. So instead of using, I need more time as a scapegoat or I need more experience as a scapegoat to why you haven't achieved your consistent profitability and your funding goals as a trader yet, I want each and every single one of you to hold yourselves accountable to implementing the exact protocol I'm gonna share in this video and see what it does to your trading. It's really important to recognize that it's not always more time that's necessary as a trader. Sometimes you need to refine what you're actually doing and what work you're putting in to ensure that you start to break through to consistent profitability. So what we're gonna address in this lecture is the more time or the more experience myth, okay? Now there's a particular concept that's important to understand and that is time times intensity is what gets you results. Okay, so time is a factor in your success as a trader, but I see a lot of traders that use this idea of I need more time or I need more experience as a scapegoat. When you look at what they're actually doing as traders, if they were to continue down the trajectory they're going down, the path they're going down, they would achieve their trading goals. They would never achieve their trading goals. So time is a component, but what's more important from what I've seen through my client work and through the traders I've worked through is that intensity on the high priority actions, the specific high priority actions, the specific protocol I'm gonna share with you in this video later in this video, but it's the intensity of work on the right actions, the proven action steps behind consistent profitability, CP, consistent profitability, that's important in order to get your results. So, so what we're gonna focus on in this video is sharing what action steps it's important to intensely focus on in order to get your results. And then once you've put these components in place, then yes, time becomes a factor. And then yes, you need a little bit of time to let these things play out. But I wanna elaborate on this a little bit more and give you a little diagram that I think is very, very important. So if we have results on the Y axis and you have time on the X, you can have positive results you can also have negative results, okay? Now, as traders sometimes, the journey, depending on what you're intensely putting time into and depending on what you're working on, can sometimes look a little bit like this. And a lot of the times, traders don't even recognize this. They don't recognize that they're intensely putting work into the wrong action steps. So as time goes on as a trader, they're actually gonna get worse and worse results. And they're intensely focused on action steps that are not conducive with their success as a trader. For example, some of these action steps would be consistently focusing on trying to pick the direction of the market, consistently focus on the outcome of the next individual trade, consistently forcing ideas and your agenda onto the market. These action steps done over a long period of time will compound into poorer and poorer results over time and more stress and more anxiety in your trading. It's as simple as that. But there are also action steps that you can do that compounded over time get you profitable results. And intensely focusing on those action steps is very, very important. And what will pr propel you to compounded trading results, okay? So over time, yes, time is a factor, but a lot of the times what I see is traders, they're focused on the wrong action steps here in the first place, and they're thinking that it's just more time. If I keep doing these action steps over a longer period of time, I'm gonna break through the results because my mentor has been trading for, for nine years. I've only been trading for three months. Um, other traders have been trading for five years. I've only been trading for three months. But the truth is I've seen some traders break through to consistency in three to six months and they're pulling a full-time salary at the market in a very short period of time. Why? Because they're intensely focused 
on the correct high priority actions that are proven to get consistent profitability, which I'll be sharing with you, okay? Whereas traders who sometimes have been trading for four, five, six years, it's nothing against them necessarily. There's nothing wrong with them. It's not an intelligence thing. It's not a, a, a experience thing. What it is, is they're just putting time and energy into the wrong action steps. They're putting time and energy into action steps that aren't proven to get consistent profitability, okay? So breaking through to consistent profitability and getting the results you want, funding, consistently drawing income out the, uh, out the market, those types of results are a factor of how intensely, firstly, how intensely you work on the correct action steps. These action steps that propel your results. And then secondly, then time becomes a factor in ensuring you consistently execute on those high priority actions over a long period of time to allow that compounding effect to kick in, okay? But many traders are focused on the wrong things and they're using time as a scapegoat. So this is part one. Now, what are those high priority actions? How can you start to shift your trading results by focusing intensely on the right, correct action steps? Let's get into those action steps right now. These are the action steps that I found that if you intensely focus on over a long period of time will yield you consistent profitability and will yield you a compounded result over a period of time. This is what I found with my students, my clients, and with my own trading journey as well. So those specific action steps are these. Firstly, number one, you need to have a proven edge. Many traders, and this is the foundational step of consistent profitability, many traders go down this journey of consistently executing on a trading plan that isn't even proven to be profitable in the first place. And they're setting an unrealistic expectation on their own results, thinking their edge is profitable, executing on a trading plan that they think is profitable, but when they really dig deep into the data, their edge isn't truly proven. They don't have certainty in that. And really, what is wise to do is to firstly, go and find or study or learn an edge from another a mentor or, or through experience or through books or whatever it may be, you want to learn and you want to study an edge. And then you want to test that edge for yourself, you don't want to take anybody's anybody else's word for it, you want to test that edge. And you want to identify the specific criteria that allow you to reap that edge or get reward from that edge, for example, where you enter in the market, how you manage that position, what you risk and how you exit. These are all important components to know when you're identifying an edge. And then finally, you want to try and disprove this edge. So you want to, because when you're going and studying an edge and you're finding the entries, the exits and all that type of stuff, you're going to fall victim to confirmation bias. And you're going to be finding reasons to support why your edge is correct. You're going to be in your community. You're going to be learning from people that are studying the same thing. And the common narrative within your mind and within these groups is that how profitable this edge is, how successful this edge is, because people are trying to justify them to themselves why they're in this particular community. So what's important to do for yourself as a trader that uh, cherishes uh, being a successful long-term trader over being right in that particular moment or having your ego stroked is you want to go through and you want to now disprove your edge. You want to find every reason why your edge won't work and every scenario where your edge doesn't work and every market condition where your edge doesn't work. And you're going to have a list of vulnerabilities or drawbacks of your own strategy. And then you want to actively put processes or contingencies in place to mitigate these these shortfalls of your strategy. So by the end of that whole process, you've got a proven edge, one that you've studied, one that you know like the back of your hand, one that you know with certainty is profitable, and one that you also know has certain vulnerabilities and certain market conditions, and you've put processes and plans in place to really manage and mitigate these, okay? Many traders don't do this, and ultimately what happens is they go down this trajectory of being an unprofitable trader, and uh, they continue to blame their lack of experience or they need more time on that. Truth is, they probably just need to refine their edge. Now, the second thing after you have a proven edge is you need to put this edge into a mechanical trading plan. 
you don't already have a mechanical trading plan, you're gonna to wanna to go and download the six figure trading plan I have in the, in the first comment or in the description. And what that trading plan is, is it outlines every single one of the components that you need in your trading plan from entry to management, to risk management, to exit, and each of the minute details in between. I've outlined all that for you. It's completely free. All you need to do is fill in that template with your edge. So you wanna take everything you've learned from your studies and back testing, and you now wanna put it into that mechanical trading plan. Because once you have an edge, now your job is being able to come to the market and replicate that edge over a long period of time. And if you're relying on how you feel that day, or, you know, how happy you are or how sad you are or whatever it is, if you're relying on emotional decision-making, you're relying on your memory, you're relying on those types of things, you're vulnerable to being inconsistent with your actions because every day you feel slightly different. Every day you have a different perception of risk based on how happy or sad you are. And every day, if you don't have a mechanical trading plan or a mechanical guide, you're not gonna be able to consistently execute on that trading plan on that edge and you're not gonna have consistent profitability. So. In order to have consistent profitability, you now need to take your edge and put it into a mechanical system, into that six-figure template that I put in the, in the description for you. And what that will ensure is that you can, as, an, as a trader, come to the market and have consistency in the way you execute your edge. And as a result, have consistency in your results. Okay, I hope that makes sense. But um, everything is outlined in that template from your entry, how you enter, how you manage your position, how you risk manage, how you exit the position, and all the minute details in between. You need to have it all written down into a rules-based system, make it 100% mechanical, because otherwise you don't really know if you have an edge or not, you're relying on how you feel. And um, you know, ideally you're putting in some sort of checklists, just like a pilot, just like a surgeon would. I'm in mean, this type of scenario, What's the proven process? It's this, 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 and that. As a trader, I'm in this scenario. What's the proven process? It's this, 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 and that. You take all emotional thinking out of the out of the decision making, and you're making rational decisions. Okay. Now, once you have your edge put into a mechanical trading plan, by the way, you can start to see why some traders are more vulnerable going down this path, right? As opposed to truly building consistent profitability, because some traders just aren't really interested in being, when you truly look at their actions, they're not, they don't show that they're truly dedicated to being long-term consistent traders. They show that they're more interested in trying to get rich quick and this gambling mentality and wanting to, to make a quick buck from the market. Because if traders truly wanted to become rich and make consistent profits over a long period of time, they would be establishing the proper processes that allow them to sustain their success. Now, number three, once you have your edge in a mechanical trading plan, now it's about ensuring that you have a balanced mindset and you're able to stick to that mechanical trading plan. And I um, have my Bulletproof Your Mindset tool, which is another free tool in the description. And what this tool does is it helps you become aware of your expectations and ground your expectations before you take a trade because it's those expectations we set and project onto the market before we trade that ultimately take us away from our trading plan. If you're watching the market and you then create an idea in your mind of your dollar is gonna to get to this price by this certain time and it's gonna get my funded account, you then activate your amygdala, you activate your chimp, you activate emotional thinking, and now you also have fear of missing out on that price movement that you've just created in your head and fear of missing out of that funded account you've created in your head, all these expectations you've created in your own mind, and now all of a sudden your trading is run by fear and greed as opposed to your process. So one of the best things you can do for your mindset is, is use that Bulletproof Your Mindset tool to become aware of expectations and then that use the questioning process that I put in the tool to ground those expectations, which is around this whole idea of, Pat, nobody has any idea of what's gonna happen next. Who am I to project or think that I can predict what's gonna happen next in the market? And you really ground yourself in that moment and then the, the question you're asking yourself at the end of the day is, does this align with my trading plan or not? And this is all, this is all covered in the Bulletproof Your Mindset tool. Free link in the description. Download that. Use it before every single trade you take. And I guarantee you, you're going to start going this way as opposed to this way. Okay? 
And these are the, these, by the way, the high priority actions that you want to intensely focus on and implement. And if you do that over a long period of time, you get results. This is what's been proven through seeing my clients, seeing my students, observing many, many traders over the last uh, eight years of when I started trading. This is what the best traders are doing. They have an edge, they put the edge into a mechanical trading plan. They're managing themselves so they can stick to that. Um, and then there's other things you can do, which I cover in the 12 week program around addressing the subconsciously stored baggage in your mind that drives fear and greed. So if you're, if you're really ready to upgrade your mindset and, uh, you know, dig deep and address a lot of that subconscious noise that's impacting your, your trading decisions, and you're, you're ready to dig deep and address the belief systems and your, you know, your confidence levels and your self-worth, that's all covered in the 12 week program. I don't want to, I don't want to overlook that. It's very, very important. Um, but as a foundational step, managing your expectations is the perfect first step. And then finally, you want to structure your life, all seven areas of life. You've probably got a job, you've probably got some friends, you've probably got a, a partner or a spouse, girlfriend or boyfriend. You've probably got some other goals in other areas of life. You've probably got some uh, books you want to read or knowledge you want to absorb. You want to structure your life, all areas of your life as a way to and and also structure your trading in there so you can do all these things the things you love to do in your life but also do these things build your trading plan come to the market forecast the market when the market presents the opportunity execute on that with a balanced state of mind so you need to structure all these things into some sort of a calendar or into it some sort of a checklist that you execute on every day because really what you want to do yeah, and you can't expect consistent results if your actions aren't consistent as a trader. So you want to have some sort of structure in your life that allows you to have consistent actions. Okay, so these are the proven action steps that will get you to consistent profitability. Okay, if you do these things, if you have each of these components, you're guaranteed consistent profitability because you have an edge. You have a system that allows you to replicate that edge and you've managed your mindset and structured your life to allow you to consistently execute on that. That's a recipe for success. Now, if you intensely focus on those action steps that I've just ran through over a long period of time, you will get the results you want. You will have a compounding effect. But neglect any of those four steps and, and neglect any of those four, four steps over a long period of time and you won't get the results because each of those four steps are important. Okay, I hope that makes sense. If you found this useful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Use the resources in the description that will help and uh, share these videos with those traders that you know will find them useful. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.